Kia ora everyone. Uh, today we're going to go over um, how to use Grasshopper in Rhino to make a um, small prayer and meditation pavilion um, that's based on a precedent. So let's just go and have a look at uh, the precedent. So here is the prayer and meditation pavilion by Studio Tam. Um, this is just one page. So you can sort of see on Arch Daily. Um, so you can sort of when you find a project that you like and want to use as a precedent, it's a really good idea to uh, really explore all the information you can find. So here, plans and other drawings are really useful for that. So here we've got um, a plan and a couple of sections. So these little markers showing us where the sections are and uh, the different sort of components of this design. Um, we can scan through some of the images so we can see here the little sort of window elements the inside so this is a tree on the inside and um, here people using it um, and then there's a whole lot of other images here which is really helpful um, also when we're looking at the 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 drawing specifically um, it's good to get a sense of scale so in this case there is no scale markers um, uh, but we can still get a sense of what's going on so there's definitely useful information especially in the section drawings um, we can start to see um, the different elements uh, here in the section with the, the door but um, we can't sort of we don't know how big things are so um, I've downloaded some other pages so we can sort of look and see here's some other drawings but again there's no scale or sense of scale in in those uh, some other images potentially um, which is always useful not a lot um, and then there's even uh, sort of Bit more published about it there and some other links so sometimes sort of looking up other um, so this has been published in a book so that could be useful um, and then other things that you might want to look into as well so uh, not just looking at it straight on but here um, I found this other site uh, um, that has got some other drawings so here we've got these ones so sort of at night which are nice and elegant but still no scale so if we click on this one here we now have um, some drawings and there's a scale bar down the bottom so we'll be able to use that to help us and here we've got a little 3d diagram which is also quite useful we can start to sort of see inside um, and some of the environmental considerations that have gone into this as well so some shun shading elements on top so what i'm going to do is just go back and i'm going to right click on here and it's got uh save image as or save image to download so i've already done that um, and we can then use this to to figure out some dimensions and sizes of different elements so if we come to rhino back to rhino um i've made uh a script here so that we can uh, use this to help us um, uh, as we go through and I'm going to go through and explain how this all works but before we do that I just want to come into the plan view uh, let's just go up here so you can see here's the Rhino file and here's the one that I've baked out uh, we want to bring in that picture of the plans and the drawings so we can just type in picture um, and then we can click on this and bring it in and then it will ask us to draw a sort of a start point I guess so I'm going to click over here Ooh, first corner here and then we can sort of draw that out so I'm going to sort of get it roughly the right size um, just it doesn't matter to start with we can guess that uh, we can then zoom in. Let's just close Grasshopper for a minute. Uh, and then we can see the scale bar here. We can um, we need now need to measure that. So distance. Um, it's a good idea just to do this to get a sense of where we're operating at. Uh, make sure you're in meters uh, when you create a new file. And we can go. 
look in there and then drag across and hold down shift it sort of I think will that lock well we're in the a snap so in auth so it'll lock it anyway uh, and then click again get the four meters and you can see that we're at 3.38 so um, I was close but not quite right so we're going to need to scale that uh, image so we can actually just click on the image and then type in scale uh, I'm going to scale 2d um, just to be a little bit uh, more accurate so I'm going to come down to that zero point on the uh, scale bar and then I'm going to click at the four meter point um, and then I'm going to Type four. So that should have scaled it up. It looked like it, but it's a good idea just to check that we've done that correctly. So type in distance again. Come in, and make sure that's in there and there. And now you can see down the bottom on the Mac or would be up the top on, on a PC, Windows computer, um, that we're at 4 meters. So we've now scaled the image the correct size so we can begin to uh, take measurements off this um, which becomes really helpful. Uh, so for example we can just use the distance command again. Distance... Uh, I just want to maybe get like an outside dimension so we know, sort of know how big so we can click on that point and over to there and that gives us 7.33 so we can start to see that that's going to be 7 meters uh, roughly just over so um, what we now need to do is start to get a little bit of a logic in how we're going to draw uh, this structure in Grasshopper um, and to do that uh, let's just open Grasshopper again uh, I'm just going to go through the logic that I've used here uh, zoom in a bit so basically to start with I've constructed a point and then built some plane a plane off that that I can then control um, uh, and then just in essence work from there um, and then extruded, extruded that uh, element up, uh, and then did a, then performed a solid difference, and then sort of joined them all together. And in essence, that's all I've done is created a whole lot of different uh, shapes, um, and either added or subtracted uh, from from what I uh, to create the final form. Uh, so we're going to go through that. Uh, and to start with we're going to create some points on here that we can then follow through so that you know uh, what I'm referring to. Uh, so I'm just going to pause now while I add those in. Okay, so I've put a whole lot of points um, uh, marked on the plan here so that we can then reference those as we're building the Grasshopper script. Uh, there's also good practice um, to when we um, bring things like images in to put it on a different layer because it's easy to click it and move it and it all sort of gets moved by accident. Um, so what we can do is create a new layer. So in the side pal pal panel um, there's the little layers icon so we can click on that and then up here is a new layer and we can just call this um, back or reference ref plan uh, or ref drawings probably uh, and um, so we've got this new layer as such um, that we've added that we can then click on the object so in this case the drawing come up to the properties uh, palette or panel um, and then we can see it's got some information here uh, but we want to change the layer from default to reference drawing and if we go back to layers 
we can now lock that there's a little uh, sort of padlock we can click on that so now we can't even click that which becomes really useful and we can turn that on and off as well and same with the text we can turn on and off so um, that gives us some information as we're as we're modeling um, in Grasshopper or scripting in Grasshopper to reference back to. So we've got box one, box two, and then these key points. Um, let's just go into Grasshopper. I'm going to keep this script here um, as a reference. I'm just going to bring all that, um, oh, bring all that, and I'm just going to group that. So I can go Command G or Control G, uh, and then that groups it. Um, and then I can move all of it in one go. So that becomes quite helpful. So let's just zoom in a little bit. Uh, come back over here. So we want to create, um, let's bring this up. We want to, let's do blue. We want to create basically this box here and we want to start from zero one so that's going to be the start point when we create this box uh, then we're going to create uh, go here another box in here which starts from point two uh, and then sort of that gives us that main element and then we can repeat that on the other side. So that's the sort of first steps, so to speak. So we're going to create this point, create a plane, and then another one that we can take from it. So let's get back out of this. Um, right, so we need to construct a point. So if we go up to vector, uh, there's the construct point. So we can click on that, bring that in. Um, that will be, oh, let's just turn all this off, hang on, let's select all this and then right click and we can preview that off so it disappears. So uh, in here we've got our first point and we click on it, we can see that it's a zero zero so let's keep that there. Uh, now so that's going to be point one. Uh, we now need to make a plane off that uh, or a surface plane so we can come up to surface primitive and then plane surface we can click on that you can see it's sort of um, bigger than what we want but we can use that as a starting point uh, and then we need some X and Y sizes so let's come back over here and we now need to measure so X as we can see down in the bottom let's just turn the pointer back on um, down here we've got X so we can start with that so let's measure from that point to there so let's zoom in a bit or not that much um, and type in distance and so it's going to try and connect to that. Hang on, that's going to be a little bit annoying, but we'll just start here and then we can move along. And we just want to make sure we're in the we can go to center actually, check that, and then that'll should find the center of that. Hopefully, there. So we can see it's seven point, let's say 7.3 meters. Um, a little bit more so we just start with 7.3 so we can come in here double click on the, the grasshopper canvas and type 7.3 or let's 7.320 or even just 7.3 actually that's nearest 10 millimeters that's more than enough accuracy for what we're doing so we've got this slider that we can uh, add into our um, box so you can see or the plane now we've got it that width let's just double check and make sure 
this dimension so we can come in here just push enter because it was distance was the last thing we did we can just click there and up there and that's 7.3 so it's basically the same uh, so let's just do 7.30 uh, and then we can just double click on that make that O so we've got them the same uh, and then we can bring that into the Y so now if we come back here we can see now we've got uh, a square surface if we go into here oh, perspective we can see there's that surface there um, let's just double click into the top so we can see where we're going right so we've got these let's just label that so double click on that x width Uh, call that Y width as well I guess that's fine so um, that's the first part so we've got this box here uh, to start um, then we need the sort of second box so to speak um, that we need to offset and there's a couple of things that we need to to work around to to get the the second box um, but we'll do that in the next video so we've got the first bit started and we've got things underway we'll build the next part in the next video so i'll see you then it's also just before we do go it's a good idea to save so let's save um, our grasshopper script um, and also our rhino file so i'm just going to call this um, oh, move this out of the way. PM, oh, come on. PMP for um, prayer meditation pavilion, and uh, just get it in the right place. Uh, there. So I'm just going to save it into there. So I'll see you shortly.